Envy Labs is a web consultancy. We started about three years ago with four contractors basically doing consulting work. How we get the consulting work was because of all the educational stuff we did with the Rails community. I just got to a point where I said, you know, what would happen if I tried to take on all of the work that I got in? And so what ended up happening is I learned more about business than I ever really cared to know about um, in the next following two years. I ended up hiring a lot of guys. Um, most of the people that I hired were from the Orlando Ruby Users Group, which I started when I moved to Orlando. So I got all these guys that were stuck in other languages, brought them over here, and now we're up to 24 people. We have 17 developers, uh, five graphic designers, and two um, project man. We've always been big into educating developers. Right? That's how we got, we've always gotten clients, all the educational screencasts. In November of 2010, we put out something called Rails for Zombies. Rails for Zombies was the first time we took screencasts and we combined that with coding in the browser. Right? We put that out for free, that was just for the community, but we got back a huge response, so much so that we figured, okay, people like this content, let's figure out some way to monetize it. We need to figure out some way to monetize this. So so the next couple months, um, we worked on Code School, we funded that through the consulting work we did with Envy Labs, built up Code School, um, released Code School in March in 2011 with just a single course, not much, just minimum viable product, single course uh, called uh, Rails Best Practices. From there, yeah, that did decently well and we started building up more courses until um, November of last year, we finally put out a subscription pro program where people can um, basically pay 25 bucks a month and get access to all our content, uh, all the courses, all the bonus content. Um, the people that use Code School are mostly existing developers. Um, the people who, developers that want to stay on the top of their game, learn the newest technology, the newest JavaScript framework. Um, we got the courses so they can go in and start learning something new and complex. What we enjoy is just taking these really complex technical topics and teaching them in a way that anybody can understand, anybody with some technical knowledge. Learn, you know, jQuery, learn, um, you know, CoffeeScript, learn Rails, um, learn HTML5 and CSS. The big thing over the last, you know, you know, probably started, you know, five years ago is the push for companies to um, open up their APIs, right, and leverage developers, right. If they can open up their APIs for people to use their service, developers can program tools which, you know, take this API for payments, take this API for geolocation, take this API for scheduling, combine it in new ways. You know, it's that whole sort of mashup. I'm going to create a Google mashup where I take all the APIs and put them together. Um, and there's a lot of companies that have APIs that make money off developers using their APIs. Best example there is really, you know, Facebook and the Facebook developer program. Um, we've started to realize that um, with our Code School platform, videos in browser challenges gamification, we can teach those APIs in better than most of those companies can teach it themselves because we can provide this, um, you know, really highly interactive um, and console, you know, and so developers get a taste of what it is. They instantly get to program there, don't have to deal with configuration. They can start, you know, uh, feel successful pretty quickly. So, um, you know, I feel like what we've created is probably only a matter of time before other companies see that, see the value in using those sort of, of um, courses to get developers interested in what they're doing and we've started to reach out and we're definitely interested in talking with companies that um, want to come and work with us to build this sort of format, attract a ton of developers and in some cases even leverage the you know 100,000 users that we have that love our free content, that would love to get a free sponsored course that they can play through to learn about a new technology. I really think that if you look at any, uh, any you know, domain, whether it's, you know, marketing, sales, finance, even in the sciences, right, the opportunity for education is um, figuring out how to take all those pieces and, and I think gamify it, create really high quality videos like, you know, what we're doing, take high quality videos, people who with good expertise that are respected in the community, combine that with interactivity, with gamification, and you should be able to create a platform that um, is more successful than, well, maybe, you know, sitting in a classroom all day listening to a professor yap at you and then going home and having to read through the textbook and do the multiple choice and fill in the blank questions. Obviously, um, you know, education, there's a lot of opportunity and innovation in the education space and we're seeing that um, all over the board.